Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you some of the new transitions in Camtasia 2024. I used to create these types of transitions custom, so I'm really excited that they're just out of the box now. So if you go into one of your Camtasia projects and you go into transitions here, there are a lot more types of transitions and you can scroll down, see these different types of box irises and so forth. And some of these, you might get too crazy. I, when I started out doing videos, I was doing like wedding videos. So I would notice uh, a lot of the times people would go crazy with the transitions. So I would avoid most of these transitions. Basically that tells, that shows that you're a little bit more amateur if you use a lot of these kind of weird transitions. The only people that can get away with this is Star Wars. Star Wars is the only ones that can get away with the weird transitions. And I don't know why or how, but they do. Anyway, so if I scroll down here, there's simple ones like color wipe, where it just kind of wipes the color over it, or there's like spinning doors, which I really like. So some of those I would use normally if I come into here and just drag it in between two different cuts. Then you can see here, as I drag my playhead over, how it animates in and then it animates out. Now, there's really not much that changes, but if I was to change from like a camera, like me talking on the camera to a screen recording, this would actually be pretty cool. Now, if I come back into that transition and just like anything in Camtasia, if you select that transition, you can change the color. So you have two colors in this case, and I can always switch the transition type here, but I have two colors and let's switch this over to my learning dojo colors. Notice how it's a gradient. And so the first color is a little bit more light, but then the second color is darker. Now I can adjust it to be just one solid color or I could come in here and just kind of do a darker color version of that previous color. Now I can adjust the angle if I wanted to. So if I wanted to have like a slightly different angle as it starts to wipe across, I can do that. I can adjust the width of it. I can adjust the feathering of it. If I wanted there to be kind of a feather fade at the end of that uh, object, I can do that as well here. I can also have it reverse and so it goes the other way. So it comes in from the right instead of the left just by selecting on reverse. So any of these transitions that I decide to use, I can just go into my properties, adjust the color, adjust the angle, adjust different parts about it, and then I have a custom transition. Now, if I scroll into this, I can also adjust the timing of the transition just by clicking and dragging these handlebars, and that will have the transition go a little bit longer as well. Let's go ahead and delete that, and let's try this spinning door one. Now on the spinning door one, if I select the transition, I can also adjust the colors. So let's adjust the first color to be that blue. Let's adjust the second color to be blue as well, but let's go ahead and have it a little bit darker blue. Now this one, I can adjust the angle of it. So if I wanted this to be more kind of angled like that, I can do that, but let's go ahead and work with that. And you can see how it kind of does the animation, the little circle animation too. So these are, in my opinion, more professional than what we've seen in the past. They're not like the outrageous ones, like you can see like the heart and the cube and the ripple. Those might be a little bit too much, but some of these are really kind of just subtle and nice. So you can see right here, like the four color iris, that's pretty cool. You can see the four color wipe, so we can have different colors. These are just new additions that I think are really nice transitions. And there's some of them, like the square one, you can see rolling squares, that kind of transition from one page to the other. So go ahead and take a look at that. Any transition that you add, you can adjust the color, you can adjust the timing, you can adjust some other properties depending on the transition. I at least wanted to point that out for you, and that is in the newest version of Camtasia 2024. If you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified of all future videos as they come out. That really helps my channel, allows me to continue to create these videos for you so you can become the best learning developer and Camtasia developer that you can be as well. You can also check out the full certification, which is a certification that I created. And if you go into learn here, go into get certified. If you are a maintenance subscriber, you do automatically get access to that. And you can check out everything from A to Z. And I'm really talking about everything from A to Z on everything you need to know about Camtasia. You can check out that. You can also check out other courses on my website at learningdojo.ninja. If you wanna see anything else on Camtasia, make sure that you comment below this video and let me know what videos you're looking for with Camtasia, any specific things that you're trying to do. If you wanna make your videos interactive, if you wanna make them trackable on SCORM, 
or X API or different things like that. So go ahead and comment down below on that. That's all I have for today. So thanks everyone. And I'll see you next time.